welcome to the Weather Workshop. I'm Mr. Weather. And I'm Haley Storm. Mr. Weather, I was just wondering, what caused the thunderstorm? That's a great question, Haley. How do thunderstorms form? And what causes all those nasty storm clouds to carry all that bad weather with them? Well, a simple answer is that there's warm and cold air masses in the atmosphere. When these large air masses collide, it causes an unstable environment. This leads to perfect conditions for convection currents to take control of the atmosphere, which ultimately helps with the formation of a thunderstorm. Mr. Weather, I'm having a hard time visualizing that happening. Do you think we could show it through on an experiment? That's exactly what I was getting at. We're going to do an experiment that I like to call crazy convection. Here are the things that we need for this experiment. First, we need four empty, identical glass bottles with an opening of one and a half inches in diameter. Second, a pitcher of warm and cold water. Third, we need yellow and blue food coloring. And lastly, a 3x5 index card or an old playing card. Hey, let's first put a few drops of blue dye in two bottles and a few drops of yellow dye in two bottles. Now, let's fill the bottles with the blue dye with cold water and the bottles with the yellow dye with warm water. And let's fill it to the brim. What's next? Now we're going to take one of the warm water bottles and cover the mouth with an index card. Then carefully hold the card in place and flip the warm water bottle over and place it on top of the cold water bottle and pull out the index card. We do the same thing. We take an index card and cover the cold water bottle and carefully flip it over and then pull the index card out. Look what happens. Wow, so during the second test when we put the cold bottle over the hot bottle, why did the solutions mix and turn green? Well, Haley, warm water is less dense than cold water. Similar to air, warm air is less dense than cold air. When we put the less dense warm water on top of the dense cold water, it was confined to the top. When it was the other way around, when the dense cold water was on top of the less dense warm water, the less dense warm water rose, mixing with the cold water. You can see this by the blue and yellow dye mixing and turning green. That's pretty awesome. So, Mr. Weather, how does that show convection? And how does convection cause thunderstorms? Great question. As you know, convection is a process of heat transfer. When warm water moves into the cold water, it mirrors when a warm air mass collides with a cold air mass, or in general when warm air rises and cold air sinks. In real life, when these two masses collide, they create an unstable atmosphere. And as the sun heats the surface, convection currents carry warm, moist air into the middle of the atmosphere, which ignites a chain reaction that produces your thunderstorm. So, when the warm air and the cold air mix, it causes an unstable atmosphere, which in turn leads for perfect conditions for storms to form? Yes, indeed. Convection is one of the most fundamental processes in our atmosphere. Without it, there'd be no weather. It doesn't only help produce those thunderstorms that we love so much, but also those days with those nice, fluffy, humorous clouds. Now that you have an understanding of convection currents, you'll understand how that thunderstorm outside forms. I hope you join us next time in the Weather Workshop.